Okay, when most growers see yellowing to their leaves, their tomatoes, they often think it's a nitrogen deficiency. And while that may be the case, we have to look closely at those yellowing leaves. In this case, these yellowing leaves are very characteristic of an iron deficiency. Uh, and we're gonna look at this how in tomato plants. So iron, uh, the plant importance, and again, that yellowing, we wanna be very specific at what we're looking um, at in, that pl in the plant. First off, iron is an immobile secondary nutrient. Uh, it's involved with uh, many enzymes and some pigments as well within the plant, but we can see that that yellowing has this characteristic um, green kind of veins with yellowing of in between those veins. Uh, now, a lot of people think they see yellowing, they think nitrogen. And while the, the iron does aid the plant with nitrate and sulfate reduction in energy production, uh, this is characteristic of an iron deficiency. One thing that makes it very characteristic is the location of the yellowing. Because iron is essential for the formation of chlorophyll, this is why we see that loss of green color. And in the extreme cases here, we see that yellowing. And um, so that chlorosis is what we would call it. Um, it's particularly evident in the newer leaves, the younger leaves, the upper leaves, and that's what makes iron very characteristic. Iron, there's another video on that, and that will be in different regions of the plant. Iron is also more available in acidic uh, pH values, so that's below seven. Uh, so keep in mind that the soil or media pH is off, that can affect iron availability uh, to the plant. Now, a trial was carried out in tomatoes in a hydroponic uh, setup in a greenhouse for consistent conditions uh, and allowed that plant to receive the plethora of nutrients that it needs minus the one being studied. In this case, it's the iron. So the control plant was filled with balanced fertilizer, um, a complete kind of collection of nutrients, and the test plant received everything except, in this case, iron uh, being studied. So this is a characteristic iron deficiency. Notice the overall lack of vigor that we see in this plant overall. So this is one thing, one, it's lack of vigor. However, if we look more closely at the upper and newer leaves, they have poor green color. They have a yellow look to them. And that's simply because of the lack of chlorophyll that's being able to form in that newer growth and simply due to the restriction this plant has on the lack of iron that it has in its growing solution. The older or lower leaves in this case remain green color, uh, but it's definitely that newer growth we're seeing that yellow, uh, that chlorosis at the most extreme. Here's the comparison. Here's that same plant we saw there, minus the iron. Here's a control plant, uh, one that was fed a balanced fertilizer. So the control plant has even green color overall, very vigorous, so vigorous it kind of fell over. Uh, and it's a key comparison here is that new growth is as consistent as the older growth. Here, minus the iron, when we compare the lack of vigor, number one, but we also have that newer growth being very yellow and the older growth being green in this case. Now, how do we correct an iron deficiency, which hopefully we don't, we never see, but if we do see one, uh, there's different forms of iron. If you say you have a liquid, and here we have kind of a soil applied one. Um, chelated forms of iron um, are, are recommended to help the plant use it very efficiently, especially when there's a deficiency symptoms. Uh, we want to make sure that plant's getting iron fed to it uh, re readily, and it's readily available. Now, I've just had some sample rates here. It may vary in what product you do purchase. Do look at the um, recommended rates, but a kind of a starting rate, iron sulfate, and that's kind of the one here in the, uh, in the bag, typically is soil test driven, so it's not something you're just gonna normally add. Uh, typically starting rate about half a tablespoon for two by two area. Uh, pros, it has sulfur added as well, uh, but the negative to that is that sulfur can actually lower the pH. So be mindful if your pH is right where you want it and you add that, you might be falling into an acidic situation. Um, chelated a liquid iron, one ounce per gallon, soil or foliar applications could be applied. Uh, it's a liquid, so it can be applied to the leaves as an option. Um, also sometimes contains other micronutrients, which can be an added benefit. Though the negative, it does require repeated applications to be effective uh, when you're using the liquid product. So if it's something you wanna catch very early, in those extreme cases, those leaves may never yellow up and that plant might be permanently stunted. So hopefully this helps you identify if you see yellowing leaves and they're at the top, you probably have an iron deficiency.